Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will solve a nice radical equation which is 1 divided by 2 minus x is equal to square root of x and we will solve for x. Since this x is under square root sign, so this must be greater than or equal to 0. It means x should be greater than or equal to 0. Okay, now since right hand side is, is greater than or equal to 0, it means left hand side will also be greater than or equal to 0. So, it means 1 divided by 2 minus x should be greater than or equal to 0. Here we have two conditions. So, we will use these two conditions to check the solution of this equation. Now, let's start our solution which is 1 divided by 2 minus x is equal to square root of x. First of all, we will multiply 2 minus x on both sides. To remove this denominator so it will be cancelled out and it will give us 1 is equal to square root of x times 2 minus x now to remove this square root we will apply square on both sides it will become 1 is equal to as we know that a to the power sorry a times b to the power m is equal to a to the power m times b to the power m so it will become square root of x and its square 2 minus x and its whole square so this square and square root will be cancelled out and it is in the form of a minus b whole square so it will become a square means 2 square which will be 4 minus 2 times 2 times x so it will become 4x plus b squared means x squared so it will become 1 is equal to x will multiply it inside the bracket. So it will become 4x minus 4x cube plus x cube. Now we will take this negative 1 to the right hand side. So it will become 4x minus 4x cube plus x cube. This positive 1 will become negative 1 and this side will be equal to 0. Now we will rearrange this equation as x cube minus 1 minus 4x square plus 4x and it is equal to 0. Okay, 1 can be written as 1 to the power 3. So, it will be in the form of a cube minus b cube which is equal to a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b squared. Okay, now it will become x plus uh, sorry x minus 1 times x square plus a b means 1 times x will be x plus b squares means 1 square so 1 square will be 1 now from these two terms we have negative 4 x is common so it will give us x negative times positive will become negative 4 x uh, divided by 4 x will be 1 and this whole equation is equal to 0 now from these two terms we have x minus 1 is common so it will give us x squared plus x plus 1 minus 4x and it is equal to 0 now we will simplify this factor so it will become x minus 1 times x squared minus 3x plus 1 is equal to 0 here we have x minus 1 is equal to 0 or x square minus 3x plus 1 will be equal to 0. So x minus 1 is equal to 0 and x square minus 3x plus 1 is equal to 0. So from this factor x will be equal to 1. So we will name it x1. It is the first value of x. Now it is in the form of a quadratic equation in which a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 3 and c is equal to 1. And the quadratic formula is minus b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. X will be equal to minus B means minus times minus 3 which will become plus 3 plus minus square root of B square minus 3 square will be 9 minus 4 times AC means 4 times 1 times 1 will be 4 
and its square root divided by 2a 2 times 1 will be 2. So x will be equal to 3 plus minus square root of 9 minus 4 will be 5 divided by 2. So here we have two more values of x. We will name them x to 3 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 and x3 3 minus square root of 5 divided by 2 and first value of x is 1 okay now let's verify these values of x to check we will use by these two conditions which was x is greater than or equal to 0 and 1 divided by 2 minus x greater than or equal to 0. So here we have condition x is greater than or equal to 0 and the second condition is 1 divided by 2 minus x greater than or equal to 0. So let's start for first value of x. First value is 1 so 1 is greater than or equal to 0 which means it is true. Now for this condition 1 divided by 2 minus we will name here x1 because we will take first value of x. Okay 2 minus 1 will it be greater than or equal to 0 or not? So it will become 1 divided by 1 which is equal to 1. So 1 is greater than or equal to 0 it means x1 is equal to 1 is the solution of this equation. Now for x2, x2 is greater than or equal to 0 so we will write here 3 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 will it be greater than or equal to 0 square root of 5 is approximately equal to 2 so it will become 3 plus 2 divided by 2 5 divided by 2 and 5 divided by 2 is greater than or equal to 0 it's mean it is true now for this condition it will become 1 divided by 2 minus x2 is 3 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 greater than or equal to 0. Okay, square root of 5 is approximately equal to 2. Okay, we can write this 2 as 1. So, LCM of 1 and 2 will be 2. It will become 4 minus 3 minus 2 and it's this one. 1 divided by 4 minus 3 will be 1 and 1 minus 2 will be minus 1 divided by 2. Will it be greater than or equal to 0? So it will become minus 2 which is not greater than or equal to 0. It means it's false. Okay. It means x2 is equal to 3 plus square root of 5 is not a solution of this equation. Now we will check for x3. So x3 is 3 minus square root of 5 divided by 2. Will it be greater than or equal to 0 or not? So it will become 3 minus 2 divided by 2. Because square root of 5 is approximately equal to 2. So it will become 3 minus 2. Which will be 1 divided by 2. And 1 divided by 2 is 0 0.5. Which is obviously greater than or equal to 0. Now we will check third value for this condition. 1 divided by 2 minus x3. So it will become 1 divided by 2 minus x3 is 3 minus square root of 5 divided by 2. Now we will check that. Will it be greater than or equal to 0 or not? So it will become 1 divided by 2. Same uh, steps we will apply here as this one. So it will become 4 minus 3 minus square root of 5. Sorry. Minus minus will become plus. Square root of 5 is approximately equal to 2 divided by 2. Now we'll check that. Will it be greater than or equal to 0? So 1 divided by 4 minus 3 will be equal to 1. And 1 plus 2 will be 3. So it will become 3 divided by 2. Will it be greater than or equal to 0? Okay. So it will become 2 divided by 3. Which will be greater than or equal to 0. And 2 divided by 3 is 0 0.6. Which is greater than or equal to 0. It's mean x3 hold for both conditions. So the first value of x which is equal to 1 and the third value 
is equal to 3 minus square root of 5 divided by 2 hold for these two conditions. Okay. So it's mean these two possible solution for this equation. Thanks for watching. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe my channel. Bye-bye.